Yes. What's up, boo? Gang, what's up, Taurus? What's up, bulls, baby? What's popping for the mid month of October? Hmm. Are you guys trying to figure out how you gonna say what you gonna say? Who somebody? Who you gonna let in? Who the hell you gonna cut off? Hmm. <laughs> hey, boo head, this first time to my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. Make us a little, make us a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So, if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. All right? And I still love you long time. <laughs> hey, boo head, if this is your first time to the channel, um, hey, new subscribers, welcome to the family. We're a little dysfunctional over here. We don't fight the fuss, however. We leave that shit on other people's channel. Oh, but we cuss. We share. We grow. We love. We enlighten. We evolve. Posi vibes only over here type teams. Okay? This will be for the summer rise of Venus as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Taurus. Everything is not going to resonate. If that motherfucking shoe is too big, don't try and make that motherfucking fit. Return to subscribers. What's popping? So I've actually done a video for you guys two days ago. I still have that video. Um, if you guys do show out like you did on them views, I might, I might post it because I don't like working for nothing, okay? So I might post it, but I felt um, the need to go back in and kind of, because I felt like that reading was all over the place. I don't know if some of you all been feeling all over the place, but um, I may or may not, you know, but let me first and foremost, on that reading, I apologize. Let me apologize to my tourists. When I tell y'all, y'all got y'all shit together. High five through the damn camera. Listen, y'all got y'all shit together, Taurus. Good shit. Thank you. And I take my part and apologize for being a fucking jerk. Because, you know, we both got horns. So we, it's, it, it, it ain't no fun unless we give each other all our time. But y'all bigger. So I know when to back the fuck down. All right? So let's get it. All right? This is going to be for the mid-month of October. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the descriptions. Oh, you guys, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the donations, the comments, the readings, the love. Walking with me on my path of expansion, being a part of my family, I truly appreciate it. From the humble space, every hour we growing. Thank you. Okay? So let's get it for the mid-month of October for the sign of Taurus, y'all. I'm trying to keep these readings short, so yes, I am petty. I got a timer, but don't feel bad. Everybody gonna have a time, all right? Except for the live stream, but everybody's gonna have a time, all right? Let's get it. For the month of Taurus, say for the month of Taurus, for the month, mid month of October for Taurus, I got contemplation, branding, engagement, successful business endeavors, karmic returns, done settling, foresight, self esteem, throat chakra. Premonition, leadership, vision, rapid changes, awakening, revelation in dreams, choices in love, leadership, new home, blessed collaboration, blockages removed, second chance, harvest, past life, legacy, heart versus the head, new contracts, Business elevation, all right. Taurus, good shit. Less energy, abundant energy, prosperity, uh, pros, pros, prosperous energy. Yeah, this it's a Mercury retrograde going on, ain't it? Fuck. All right. Overall energy around the reading. You guys got the Queen of Diamonds, okay? Which lets me know, Taurus, a lot of you all are bringing balance to a situation. Some of y'all have to choose between two situations, two people. Others of you, this has to do with you uh, possibly wanting to jump out there towards some type of entrepreneurship, especially when it has to do with your spirituality. A lot of you all are starting to not give a fuck about what people got to say, and it's bringing blessings, Taurus, okay? Which brings me to your angel message for the month. Arch, arch angel. Oh, no. <laughs> fuck. Arch, arch angel. Sound of fun. Gifts from God. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. If you want to win spirit is saying surrender to it. Stop trying to control every damn thing. Shit that's falling, shit that's falling to shits, let it fall to shits because it's a blessing in disguise. It's a blessing. It, it, it's literally you don't understand it, but they saying take your feelings out of the situation, step outside of your feelings, and look at only the lessons 
in whatever it is that you're going through because it's oh, they saying open up your arms, baby. It's time to receive. For some of you all, there may be premonition. Some of you guys may be in between timelines when it comes to that Pluto just going direct recently. I feel that some of you all are, are between timelines. So some of you all, you could be focused on your legacy, also soul contracts, okay? So for some of you all, if there was any type of manipulation of energy, a lot of that energy is being cleared out. So I feel like this sense of, for those of you who have premonitions or the, um, the gift of sight or those of you who have visions, Within your meditative state, I feel like it's going to be a bit more ten intense and a, li a little bit uh, a little bit more lucid. The fact that I'm feeling like I need to say it really, really fast, fuck the time because we got some time. But I felt the aspect of a lot of you all feel as if you have to say something or something has to be done right now or as if you're going to miss an opportunity. For some of you all, I'm hearing this is your gift. It's your blessing. You're not going to miss what's for you. But there is this aspect of speak up because for some of you all, I feel as if if this is a job, this has to do with your work and what you, what you've been well, what you have been allowing and settling for. Towards someone has something to say, either you or another person, and they don't fucking know how to get it out. Okay, that has been the issue in the hold up. For some of you all, this has to do with love, y'all. You see that big ass cup? Some of y'all ain't got to worry about them little bitty ass cups. You can knock over and kick over with your damn feet. Don't look back at them funky ass three because you got the big cup. The big cup. <laughs> the big cup. The big cup. Hmm. For some reason, I just saw them little peanut people on the, uh, on the Proud Family. Y'all used to watch Proud Family? How many of you used to watch Proud Family? How old are you, Taurus? <laughs> we 25 plus, I chill. All right, so the um, I did pull from the Oceans of Tarot as well for you guys. You guys got a new vision. So for some of you all, this definitely has to do with the rebirth. You see that man rising? Rising from the ashes. Stepping out on faith. Trusting what it is that you're seeing. Trusting in your vision. For some of you all, you've been patiently waiting. And for some of you all, something was being prepared or you were being I feel like a, this has to do with some type of divine partnership, y'all. And it does have to do with past lives. I heard collapsing in timelines, okay? So some of you all, your angels want you to know that you are hella protected, especially when it comes to bringing balance to a situation that I'm hearing someone slept on. Someone slept on it before. This could be somebody sleeping on you, Taurus. Now they want to come back. They see a future. They see you within their visions. They want to build with you. What you going to do? What you going to do when it come for you? Will game, will game. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Is you ready or no? Some of you all, this is gonna require a major leap of faith, okay? Some of y'all could have recently quit your damn job at the first half of October. I'm also hearing the last half of September. And this has to do with you stepping out on faith. And for some of you all who have been um, kind of stressing over your business, that was not a sense of stagnancy. That was this, you guys were supposed to be in this space of reviewing, reflecting, strategizing in order to make your next move when it comes to expansion some of you all put yourself in a box when it comes to business endeavors just because you're good at that one damn thing allow your allow allow your light to shine and become more so multi multi-dimensional as well as be open to collaborate with others instead of dealing with people with their wall whether in love finances career or you know uh, entrepreneurship okay so let's dig into this love because i'm Interested to see what the hell you bulls got going on. Let's hope the shit don't go haywire. Some of y'all could definitely be seeing some type of future. I'm here revisiting, okay? I'm also hearing family ties. Some of you all have to make a decision between somebody who you have some type of family dynamic with or children with and someone new. For some of you all, I'm hearing that this is not someone fully new. This could be someone that you know already, but maybe things weren't able to get off the ground. Somebody's wanted to take a leap of faith and step out there, but I feel like this, this energy of someone being afraid. Taurus, you scared? What you scared for? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I might be looking for me somebody's daddy. If he a Taurus, I tell y'all. Okay? <laughs> hey, what message do you have for the Taurus? The name of October. Someone write it in. That's why it's a cross -up. Yeah. Some of you all may be having to stand your guard when it comes to dealing with a boss figure or an Aquarius person, okay? For some of you all, yeah, some of you all, this has to do with you making a decision between two people. Some of y'all could be choosing between a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, as well as an Aquarius. 
I do see some of you all are going to choose to cut the Aquarius this mid-month of October. For others of you, this could also have to do with uh, making a decision between two air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. For some of you all, you have a tele telepathic connection with one of these individuals. Like there's a spiritual union here. And Spirit is saying in order for you to get what it is that you're trying to manifest, a lot of you all are making the damn decision, getting out of coming out of this space of indecisiveness and moving on what it is that you already know. But in order to do that, somebody's going to have to get cut. Okay. There could also be some type of clarity coming to uh, coming to you regarding a situation that was left. I'm hearing open ended in the past. Force. Yeah, for some, what I tell y'all, I love a spirit coach. For some of you all, this has to do with someone who you have, who, who you have children with. Okay, making a decision between that person and someone who you manifested. This person could also be someone famous. Some of y'all could actually be attracted to somebody famous or someone with some type of status during this time. This person sees you as their star Taurus, someone that you can deal with, okay? I do feel that some of you guys could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and this person is needing to make a decision between you and another person or which way. For some of y'all, I'm hearing if they're going to renew a situation. Some of you guys could be renewing, trying to bring some type of renewal energy towards some type of family dynamic here with someone who you have children with. I feel like for some of you all, this person could be very intuitive. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody who's extremely intuitive. And I feel like someone is being patient with you or you being patient with another person it could also be a Scorpio. As this trans as this transition is taking place, there's a lot of transformative energy here towards when it comes to your finances as well. For those of you who feel as if finances wasn't flowing the way that you wanted them to, I definitely feel this transformative energy around it, okay? And some of you guys want to transform a situation with the Virgo, Capricorn or another Taurus. Again, some of y'all could be a, a Scorpio wanting to do this with you. This could, this Scorpio you could have children with, and this person needs to choose if they're going to deal with you full time. Because somebody, somebody's third party is also getting ready to get cut, and somebody's third party is going to get ready to get chose. Take it high, resonates with you. Someone's having a hard, um, yeah. Some of y'all are leaving a situation. I'm dealing with someone who could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person could be attached to uh, an Earth sign or or a Scorpio person. I feel like that some of y'all is finding out that some y'all are finding out that somebody's married or attached. This person could be a Pisces, Libra, as well. Another Taurus. Yeah, for some of you all, this could also have to do with transforming the situation with the with the Mother of Wands. You could also have uh, children with this person, okay? And for others of you, as soon as you, you find, you're going to find out that as soon as you walk away from a situation or as soon as you get into a new situation, whatever you was walking away from, someone could be pregnant, okay? Congratulations, baby. Mocha loves them kids. For others of you, there's some type of transformative energy. I heard divine intervening um, in a co-creation with spirit. Someone here is co-creating with spirit. Some of y'all, some of y'all could be dealing with a master manifesting. Somebody is bringing you back to us, you bringing somebody back, somebody back. I say somebody's. Let me find out. Some of y'all bringing somebody's back. You're in that rich grade. Some of you guys, yeah. Some of you guys, this is having to do with someone needing to make a judgment, or someone's finally going to make a damn decision regarding re. Uh, re yeah, I do. I'm, I keep hearing restarting, renewing. Renewing a relationship, okay, but it's at the expense of someone else being left out in the call. I feel like for some of you all, some y'all, some y'all could be feeling like some y'all could be dealing with an Earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. For some of you all, this has to do with the Sagittarius. I'm seeing somebody feel as if they don't have enough to start something new, but Spirit is saying this is what's supposed to be built in this union. You manifested some, you manifest, some of y'all you manifested your damn counterpart, someone who you could build with. Someone who you grow with, someone who you see as abundant, okay? Who sees you as abundant. Taurus that's dealing with air signs and water signs. Yeah, some of y'all are walking away from air signs. And I feel like this has to do with you wanting to build your finances as well. Some of y'all feel as if um, either you or another person feel as if a situation is a liability. 
and I feel like it's stressing someone out. Someone is stressing about ending the situation. I feel whoever this is, you can't sleep, or this person can't sleep, Taurus. Yeah, some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a fire sign, Leo. Someone is wanting to apologize as well. Mm -hmm. They want to apologize. They want to work on the situation. Someone wants to start over, start new, okay? For others of you who are waiting on some type of positive news regarding finances, I do see some type of job opportunity coming through that's going to bring harmony, um, balance back in the family situation where things are fair. Some of you guys could be dealing with a situation where either you, one partner makes more than the other partner, and so therefore the bills have to be made majorly, majorly on that person. And I feel like it could have been stressing someone out, having them indecisive on if they wanted to move forward. I do feel I'm hearing help is on the way, baby. Okay? So let's try and lay out some quick clarifiers here. See, why is this sun card here for Taurus? Yeah. Someone definitely wants... Some of y'all just have to do with the new job offer. I'm here on November 1st. Some of y'all could be starting a, um, a new job on November the 1st. Okay? Why is the death card here for my Taurus? Oh, two fail. Yeah. Hmm. Some of you all have to make a decision possibly between the water sign, Scorpio. Or this Scorpio has to make a decision between you and another fire sign. Taurus, for some of you all, I hate to say it, but I do feel that this person is going to walk away. They're choosing. Somebody's making a damn financial decision over choosing their heart. Somebody is making a very shallow decision. And I feel like some, for a lot of you all, you, you hold on. For a lot of you all, you're trusting your heart space. Somebody feels as if they lost something. This could be a water sign. Are you feeling this way towards a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio? Due to some type of situation with someone being pregnant. Someone choosing to build with the new person but still be responsible and still compromise and collaborate as far as a healthy co-parenting relationship with the mother of their children. I feel like it's going to leave this person broken, but Taurus is finally choosing their damn self. Look at them. Look at God. Oh, why is the judgment card here? Why is the judgment card here? Yeah, somebody, somebody is pregnant and not getting chose, and they is upset, honey. All these damn cards, they mad now. All these fucking cards, play a lot. So it's, this could even be someone who you have some type of business collaboration with. Some of y'all could have actually been dealing with your business partner. I do feel that someone is, yeah, someone's not going to be a second option here. For some of you all, this has to do with balancing a situation that could be uh, involving a past life soulmate or someone from your past, bringing harmony to a situation where there was once confusion, walking away from once was after clearly discussing what the issues were. Yeah, someone's single, and I feel like either you or another person feels that they have to end this in end this sense of mental turmoil now. In order to be happy, and for some of you, it's going to come at the cost of leaving another person behind. This person could be an air sign, an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, like yourself, a water sign. The Taurus is starting something new. <laughs> for some of you all, I'm hearing engagement. Some of you all could also be uh, proposing to someone, or someone could be proposing to you. I'm hearing eloping. <laughs> yes, fulfillment. You manifested this shit, Taurus. Yes. Hmm. But you're also going to have to leave a situation that you are very passionate about behind. Either way, Taurus, someone gets hurt here. So make your next move, your best move, because spirits say Taurus is moving towards a soulmate. Or they feel invested. Or they feel as if the work can be put in, something can be built here. For some of you all, this has to do with rebuilding what has been torn down due to some type of outside interference. Towards closing chapters, you're making the judgment to be happy, to invest in things that make us happy, where we see us happy and growing. Expansion, baby. You are the master of your own fate. Taurus, this is what I have for you guys for the mid month of October. I send you all love, blessings, abundance wishes, great health, great wealth, and prosperity, baby. Peace, love, and light. Bye, my babies. See you guys here for the month of November.